listen. Okay, I know this thing is probably confusing as shit, and I didn't do that good of a tutorial. Uh, but I'm gonna give you the just the arm part. Okay, so what we're looking at, I mean, it, obviously the 45s, you're gonna move them how you want to move them. That's a trial and error thing. Uh, I got a, a 14 inch right here with a hinge. Um, I should have used a better hinge, but that's all I had at the time. Then we're going to come up with a 45, and then it uh, looks like a, a thing. It's a two-inch pipe with another 45. This is uh, three and seven eighths with a 45, and then a two-inch pipe on a T. And then we're going to come down, and it's going to be 11 and three quarters. I put the hole uh, for the motor at uh, one and a, one and a quarter. And then at the bottom, one inch. Okay, then I'm coming across with seven and three eighths, a 90, six inch, a 90, three and a half, a 45, and a 14. Okay, I know that shit looks confusing, but if, if, you guys can't figure it out then I definitely will do a full tutorial on it okay now, okay, now this part's gonna be a little more this well not as confusing how we're gonna have three 18 inch pieces and then we're gonna have a 90 with one and three quarters with a T a five and a quarter with a T a two inch with another T and then a, a one and three quarters with a, a 90 okay and then when you come down to this part we're going to have uh, this is going to be a flange with the um, a coupler with the male end on it so we're going to put a two inch pipe a T a two inch pipe another T this is going to be three and a quarter it's more like a standoff the piece the pipe in here is going to be five and three quarters and this is going to be another two inch the same thing yeah i know that's confusing okay the motor is going to come down from the center point it's going to be 11 and a quarter that's going to be the center point of the motor okay and Okay, now the extra piece coming off my wiper motor, that's gonna be a two inch. This, well, it don't have to be two inch, but from this space to the center there, that's two inch. Uh, I just put a bolt through here with a lock washer, 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 lock washer, two bolts with lock washers. Obviously this is a standoff so it can move around. Okay, now for the chest, I got a 90 here, 90 here, with the 9 and 3 quarter inch pipe going across, and 12 and a half here, 12 and a half here, and then I use electrical wire to frame out the ribs. And all I did is like drill it here, came across with a whole piece, put the marks in there, and zip tied it, and that's going to give me my chest piece. And I got some skulls up here. It's gonna be three. I'm not sure what it's gonna look like, but it's gonna, hopefully it's gonna be cool. Just goes to show you can use Nightmare Maker Skull for everything. All right, and then down here we got the same thing. We got the uh, male end of the coupling uh, with a flange under here. Again, now I would suggest you guys go with uh, if you were gonna try to make it to go with a heavier pipe. Uh, because it is a little bit wobbly but I got the three inch uh, 45 seven and a quarter 45 19 and a half all the way down 
and then this one is 29 and a quarter and I drilled straight on through and put a bolt in it there's this extra pipe I put in here to mount the motor doesn't matter what size you have as long as you have enough to put your motor on it damn it that's confusing me just trying to explain it to you but Maybe I'll do another one and do a total step to step by step. I just wanted to make sure before I did anything it worked. <laughs> okay, now as far as these uh, these go, I put uh, six and eight, and I'm measuring from the top of this right here. So I go six and eight, put the hole in there. This one from from here to here is uh, two and five eighths okay from here to here is five and a quarter from here to here is six inches okay now this one from his neck to here is uh, 11 and three quarters this is 11 and three quarters I got this one from here for the chest is six and a half and this one right here is ten and a quarter now I like these little swivel joints uh, I don't know what they're called I got one right here I mean this is a this is a bigger one but you can get these on eBay you know it swivels it lets you uh, move stuff around uh, gives you a lot of play and help stuff and then you just put thread or rod on it I mean when I first started doing this, I didn't have these. I just had like little metal plates going on there. It didn't have all the movement I wanted, but it still worked. So I just had like a piece of metal going across all these up and down. It all worked just fine. But I uh, put, a, put a couple of washers on the back of it just so it, it have some extra movement, but it worked fine. And what I did was I just drilled them all the way through so they didn't come loose on me. Put lock, lock nuts on it. And that's that. Just a word of advice. Do not glue anything until you get the movement you want. Because I noticed that when I was doing this, when this swiveled out, it went past his upper shoulder, which you don't want. So don't, don't. Uh, glue or anything always screw it that way you can move it if you don't like it this here I'm gonna have another pipe coming down but that's just gonna be to hold up the clothes and let them let it look like here's the rest of the arm for this one to swivel this is supposed to be the joint you know the elbow right here so I'm gonna have this other arm coming down I just ain't put it on there yet because I'm not sure uh, what size I want I have to let it sway out a few times and see what I like all right another thing uh this is all one inch pipe like i said i would go bigger like one and a half or one and a yeah one and a half on the legs just to make it thicker and these are just like i said i think they're called pipe flanges or something i'm not sure but they're not that expensive up and you know one on top one on the bottom then i put them down here too just on uh three quarter inch plywood all right well I got this uh, this hinge here and uh, what I did was obviously it's not flat right here so I put some washers in it but it doesn't really need doesn't matter if it's flat because I put some washers in there to level it up and I didn't want to uh, have it mounted on either side because when I get the head motion I want it to be able to swivel a little bit to swivel with this bar here. So um, I found this piece at work. So I, you know, I got it. But obviously, you guys can do the same thing just with the L bracket. And then what I do is I grab uh, the foam head and I uh, just put it right on there and sit it down. So now I got the foam head on there. I mean, it's going to look better once I'm done, you'll see. But uh, it gives me the swivel, the lean back and forward, and it'll give us a little bit of 
side to side uh, with this. So that's going to make it even cooler. But like I said, you can uh, just use the L bracket. We'll do the same thing. I use this because I had it. But I like it. But it's going to swivel. So that way, like I said, when this moves back and forth, it's going to lean back and then tilt a little bit side to side. So that's going to make it really cool. All right. I got a nice, I got some head movement. I got the uh, chest movement. And I got some arm movement uh, right there. I got this arm movement over here, too. Okay, now I got to try to skin this. And I put wire inside here, and I zip tied it to the shoulders. And... Uh, it's not touching uh, any part of this, so the chest can move in and out. And then I cut out a little section so so this can come in and out. Now I'm going to tape the whole thing with the the inside. I'm going to tape the whole inside with this, and then I'm going to tape the the ribs with this too, and uh, try to give it a little shape. And that way I can latex it and do all that stuff. I got this all taped off. Uh, this ain't what it's gonna look like. I'm going to, you know, put little spray foams, make like some bumps and some weird shit on here before I latex and uh, clean exit. And then I'm going to build up the shoulders right here with some tin foil and uh, and uh, tape, and build up right in this section here too. Just a uh, little odd little stuff just for filling and stuff. And that's what I'm doing next. And then after that, I'm going to hit this with tape, and then I'll do all the detail and stuff after I get this first tape coating on it. All right, that's that. I wish I could do more of a hands-on tutorial for you guys, but I just can't hold my phone and do it. And uh, I guess I got to get something like a phone holder or something or so I could do it better. Or if I had extra hand, that'd be nice. So if anybody wants to come and help, feel free. Right now, after all that was said and done, I had these arms moving, and I was going to have these arms come down, and I decided, you know what, it would look cooler if it had four arms with uh, these two moving, um, these here stationary, and then I bought these little teeny hands on eBay, and I make it, I make it look like it's coming out of his chest. And then what I did was to make two extra hand movements, I just used uh, metal strapping and then put a little pivot on there so I could move it how I wanted to and just mount it to this. And I did the same thing on that side for another arm. So, I mean, basically, you can put as many arms on it as you want when it's moving, just put it in different spots. So, uh, I want to step it up a little bit and put uh, the extra the extra moving arms. So I'm going to have this arm moving, this arm moving, this one, this one. That's going to be stationary. I got the hands like busting out of his chest. And then I'll have the like a bunch of heads up in here looking like it's, you know, like it's a whole demented thing. This here, I'm going to beef the hell up. Because it's getting too heavy up top. Okay, I made these little hands out of cardboard. Some blue tape, taped some wire to them. Made them pretty long. Got three of them there. I did these. What I did was I took the tin foil and bunched it up, made some knuckles. And the uh, thing looks pretty cool. Pretty creepy. Creepy enough, that is. And then uh, I'm going to do the same for this. And I'm going to put a head down in here. Make it look like it's coming out of the stomach. I'm going to build up the legs. And uh, corpse them. I got this back there because it need, it was a little swaying. And I put that in stopped all the swaying all together. So it might just stick like a 2x4 down in there. Uh, and then paint it black. Hopefully, hopefully you won't see it. That's where I'm at so far.
Okay, well, what I'm doing right now is I'm latexing uh, the arms and the chest and the head and all that. And uh, basically what you do is you just uh, get some latex and I'm just brushing it all over. It's pretty simple. Okay, and then what I'm doing after that, sorry. What I'm doing after that is taking some clean uh, Kleenex and uh, putting it right over the top. And all this extra stuff up here, you know, all this extra stuff, keep it on the visible spot because that'll give you, that'll give you all your wrinkles. And I'm gonna dip it back in here. Yeah, with all this extra right here, that'll give you all your wrinkles and stuff. And I'm just going to. See? Just like that. And it gives you all the wrinkles that you want. And I'm going to do the whole thing like this. And then I'm going to go over it again. And then I'm going to put some cotton, like uh, cotton and latex to make the string uh, look stringy and nasty. And then I'm going to paint it. I'm going to do the whole thing like this. I didn't want to have to put you through it because I just got to show you what I did. And that's exactly what I'm doing to the whole thing. Okay. Okay, so I went over it with like a just water in this green it kind of gives it it gave it like a green tint to it i'm gonna put a few washes on it and then i went and made it like a a pukey kind of green because i added some uh, brown right there to it to so made it like like this kind of brown green and then uh it gave it this kind of look okay i think it gave it a pretty cool look yeah nice and bruisey looking I'm going to put a little bit of, I'm thinking about putting maybe like a wash of blue in there. I'm not really sure. It does look pretty gruesome. Yeah, maybe some blue. Then I'll go back over it with uh, maybe a red wash or something. It's pretty good. Looks pretty gross. Maybe pinks or something. I don't know yet. Okay, I put uh, like an amber shellac on it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry a little bit, and then I'm going to make some dark spots and stuff and let it drip down, you know, let it keep dripping down, and that's where I'm at so far. So I got one shellac on it after the other two washes, I'm going to go, I put the shellac on, I'm going to go with another shellac, just try to darken it up, and uh, kind of like the, the gooey lookingness of it and then I'll put like maybe little blues, purples, reds. I'm not sure. I have no idea what I'm doing. So if it turns out you can follow it. If not, then at least you didn't do it. <laughs> Alright, well I decided to like this guy here. I figured I put the a skeleton body on it and make it look like it ripped his spine out and stuff. Then I'm gonna put the, like I said before, I'm gonna put all the skulls down there. This is definitely like the biggest undertaking of a prop I've ever did, so it's gonna take me a long time. <laughs> all right, and uh, before where I had the hinge, I decided that wouldn't last too long, so I used these. I put one here, one here, put the lock washers and all that stuff in there. And that's what I use for this because I figured the hinge would break eventually, so I put this, put these, this, uh, this uh, fence thing or whatever it is. I put that on there. I put some skulls down there with some spray foam. I'm gonna get, I gotta get some more spray foam. But that's pretty much. That's all the parts I'm gonna put on this sucker. That's enough. Uh, I need some more spray foam to fill it in, but. That's all I had right now, so it's getting there. Okay, I put some Rip City blood on it. And then I'm going to do like a, probably like a watered down black wash on it. And see where that gets me. Like I said, it's a learning curve, so I'm just trying to use a bunch of different techniques and stuff. I 
I painted all the skulls white and now I am uh, staining them. Ooh, man, the sun's hot. So now I'm staining them and getting it like a nice uh, uh, skull look to it. A little darker than I use the same uh, technique as night, night make, makers did, nightmare makers, but um, I left a stain, a little more stain on than they usually do because I want it to look old. So that's where I'm at right now. Might put some black in there, a little, make it darker and stuff. I just wanted to make it look old. I gotta do this skeleton here and them down there too. So we'll see how that goes. It's a uh, Jacob Jacob Bean stain. Uh, Nightmare Makers. Uh, they have videos on their uh, website and how they make the skulls look real. Mine's a little heavier and darker because I just want mine to look a little darker. Listen. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>